friends welcome to my channel so it's time for another weekly garden tour and i wanted to take you along and show you what's happening in my garden lots of perennials are kind of done with their first flush of blooms and are need in need of cutting back i've been going around and deadheading my roses cutting back my salvias and just uh, cutting back whatever needs refreshing napata and all of the other uh, perennial so I just want to walk around and show you what is still blooming in my garden and um, and also what to expect in the next uh, few weeks so right in the front garden my gora is still uh, quite uh, floriferous it's got lots and lots of blooms still and I love that about it I love the whimsical nature of this this flower and this plant and the color is just so fascinating I love this plant so much and I'm so glad I added it to my garden and it's a new plant to me so I'm really really enjoying it um, and as you can see how it's beautifully gracefully arching uh, over here and it's looking really really dainty and pretty um, I still have some blooms on my uh, roses this is moody blue this has one bloom left and lots and lots of buds here um, are still on this rose and it's still going and um, I think the next uh, blooms to come are lilies uh, lots and lots of buds forming on a lot of my day lilies so I'm excited to to see them bloom this lavender has been blooming really really well and it's looking really pretty in the garden um, and it's uh, really really complemented very well by this verbena which has just decided to bloom it's a beautiful beautiful uh, plant and so whimsical just like the Cora and I love having it in my garden um, my red roses are blooming still and they're looking really nice those are the also easy double red um, and then my climbing rose is done blooming so I have to come out here and deadhead I did remove some of them but I have to I'm sad to cut it all down but I really enjoyed this this rose in full bloom and it's now done so it's time for it to be cut back I am not sure if it's going to flush a new set of blooms again uh, it is a new rose I think it's about three years old and I did not pay attention to what it was I didn't even know it was a climbing rose so it's going to be exciting to discover what this one is going to do um, I do have these Asiatic lilies that are blooming they are so so vibrant and pretty um, and I also have some anemones that are blooming that are looking really really pretty in the garden right now and uh, yeah, geranium roseanne as usual it's gonna it's blooming and it's gonna keep blooming till hard frost and it's going to just add this beautiful um purple in there and it i love how it kind of mingles with the roses and it looks so pretty against the red i love how that plant looks and i still have these dwarf cranesbill geranium that are blooming and they're actually spreading which looks really pretty um and and this annual penta is also blooming really really beautifully um, and and lots of echinacea is going to start to open up next I think that's that and the daylilies are going to be my next set of blooms that are going to shine in the garden and they're just about starting to show me their beautiful beautiful petals and they are so pretty and I have a mix of them uh, you know different colors so it's really exciting to see once these flush out blooms there's also flocks that's getting ready to to bloom um, and lots and lots of uh, salvia it needs to be cut back so this is the April night salvia it's actually done its second set of blooms for me so now I have to come in here again and uh, deadhead it so that is something I will be doing um, soon and I've actually started doing some of it in the backyard already so this alyssum I planted with seeds is really really spreading and looking very very pretty in the garden I love the beautiful blooms it has and how it kind of drapes over this um, edge of my driveway it looks really really pretty uh, I love this color of this purple alyssum I think this variety is magic carpet maybe I don't I'm not really sure but it was just a pack of seeds that I through here and it's really doing well and it's looking really pretty and it looks really nice against this uh, bubblegum supertunia and it's really spread this plant has really 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 spread and it's looking very pretty and this is paint the town magenta dianthus which is still blooming and looking really really pretty I actually haven't deadheaded it as much as I should but it's still blooming so that's really exciting to see 
And here is another look at what the garden looks like from here. It's looking really, really pretty. Um, next up is also quick fire hydrangea. This is going to start to open up soon as well. It's one of the earliest uh, panicle hydrangeas to come into bloom. I have the quick fire and I also have quick fire fab. So it will be interesting to compare the two and see what they're gonna do. I also have Scabiosa that is obviously continuously blooming here and it's looking really, really pretty. Um, and this is the Homestead Purple Verbena, which is kind of trailing and filling in all the, all the bare spots here. So it's really pretty as well. Um, and then on this side, uh, my uh, Tranquility Roses are done blooming. I am, they're actually quite droopy from the weight of the blooms, but uh, they are so pretty. It's, it's, it's a little bit difficult to cut them when they're done, but I have to come out here and, and deadhead all of this. And here are my hydrangeas. That is the quick fire fab that is coming to bloom. So it's a little bit earlier than the regular quick fire. And I also have a couple of bobo hydrangeas here, which are um, having lots and lots of buds as well. So those are also going to bloom next. And then lots of lavender here as well. There's lots of um, Verbena bonariensis that is also blooming and then I also have this beautiful uh, peach perfection rose that is also blooming um, and then I've just started to get some blooms on this take it easy uh, red rose which is also very beautiful I love the vibrant red color of this one and especially against the napata it just looks really 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 pretty and this Persian blue napata has been blooming for a while now and it's really filling in on both sides and it's looking really really pretty in this garden um, and then I also have a bloom still left on Rosie the Riveter Rose this one I've kind of deadheaded removed all the spent blooms so I'm hoping it flushes out some new growth and new blooms soon um, and lots of other roses here that are blooming that is the I think it's the uh, a carpet rose a coral one and it's also going to continuously bloom which is what I love about these roses and this is my uh, bougainvillea kind of plant which is also starting to push out some blooms which is very very cute and exciting I actually overwintered this pot indoors and it was completely bare of leaves and I gave it a trim and it's put on a lot of growth and new leaves and I'm excited to see what it's going to do um, I also have a macrophylla hydrangea in the back I'm not sure the variety but it has lots of blooms and uh, it's looking really pretty and honestly I haven't done anything to this hydrangea it's completely neglected it probably doesn't even get a lot of water and it's doing really really well in that spot I think it's just a nice spot for it with the shade and uh, and between uh, nestled between the plants it's very happy and um, and yeah it has lots of blooms I haven't I haven't cut back anything I haven't done anything to that one and it's doing really really well this nepeta has been blooming since the beginning of spring and I haven't even deadheaded this one but it continually has new blooms it's doing well so I, I might come in here and Chelsea chop it but it's still blooming and looking pretty so I don't feel like doing anything to it um, and then I have a Rosanna climbing rose which is also pushing out really really beautiful blooms here um, this is such a beautiful rose I love this color and it's looking very very pretty in this garden um, and then I have uh, this moonshine yarrow which is starting to also bloom Look at that beautiful yellow color like it's such a vibrant beautiful yellow color a happy color in the garden and I just love how that looks um, and I also have more geranium roseanne here that's just weaving in all of these plants um, and I had a double play doozy spirea here which I deadheaded because all of the blooms looked like they were burnt in the sun I left this one just to show you uh, that you know how burnt the blooms looked. So I deadheaded one of them and I left this one just to experiment and see what happens. Um, if this one is, uh, if they are both gonna put out new blooms or it's supposed to bloom all summer. So we'll see what this one does and follow it along. And then my sea holly here is blooming and it is just a beautiful sight. Look at these beautiful purple blooms. Aren't they so gorgeous? This is such a different, such an interesting and unique plant in the garden. It looks really, really, really pretty. And look at that moonshine yarrow in the back just peeking through. Isn't that beautiful? 
I just love how this looks this plant it's such a beautiful addition to my garden and I love finding plants that I don't have and enjoying them and seeing how they do in the garden because they just look so pretty in this spot um, and then um, there is also crystal blue salvia in the front that's blooming along with um, geranium roseanne and it's I also have a lot of this Coreopsis that has just come into bloom and isn't that looking beautiful, the yellow? I feel yellow is such a quintessential color for me for summer because anytime I start seeing yellows, uh, which is red beckias as well as Coreopsis and, um, and also the pinks from the Echinacea, it just is summer to me. Like those two flowers are just uh, quite, like really important in the summer for me because they just are so, so stunning. And um, the night Clodier Villa in the back is also looking really pretty as a backdrop to this Coreopsis because it also has these beautiful yellow blooms. So it complements each other and the dark foliage also looks really nice with the, with the yellow of the Coreopsis. And here is another set of Echinacea which is going to open and just fill this spot with beautiful Echinacea blooms. Isn't that going to look stunning when that happens and then also a lot of my phlox is going to bloom soon it's it's put on a lot of growth um, and then there is so many buds on daylilies that are about to bloom as well and uh, this is my royal candle purple uh, veronica which has been in bloom as well and it's looking really really pretty in the front over here and this is my little side kind of wild garden here which has lots and lots of borage as you can see and I have a lot of Rebecca in here that is just starting to come into bloom. Isn't that beautiful? And I have this bit beautiful gold flame honeysuckle that is also about to uh, bloom. Like, look at this one. It's so pretty. I love the colors. I love the yellows and the pinks together. They are so beautiful. And uh, the purples look so pretty as well. And look at this Gatsby girl. Hydrangea in full bloom. It's so pretty. It's gorgeous lots and lots of blooms on this plant and it's looking really really nice so yeah this is what the front garden is looking like today um, it is uh, first day of July that I'm shooting this video and uh, it's Canada day here so we have a long weekend a holiday and I just am enjoying my garden so much today because all the flowers whatever is remaining is looking really pretty and so exciting to see what else is going to be blooming in the next couple of weeks and lots to open um, in this garden here so let me show you what the side yard is doing and the backyard as well so going into my side garden I have some more roses in bloom here um, I don't know the name of this yellow rose but it's beautiful it's pushing out a lot of new growth it was almost dead to the ground this winter and it's uh, taken its time to come back from the ground and it's looking really pretty and this one as well I don't know the variety but it's also blooming it's a nice pink red color and it's beautiful um, yeah a uh, lots of uh, so this is where I have a ton and ton of puppies that are still blooming and looking beautiful um, and before I go there and show you those poppies, I want to show you this beautiful daisy show here. So lots and lots of daisies coming into bloom here. Aren't they so pretty? Like this is summer. Beautiful. Like this is such a beautiful start to the summer. And look at my dianthus that has come into bloom. Isn't that just beautiful? I don't know the name of this one. I actually got it from Costco last year and I planted them here. And they are just the most beautiful double colored dianthus with the two pinks in it and it's just just so beautiful i mean this just you know is just screaming summer to me and it's so beautiful i'm so glad i planted it along the edge here because it adds such a punch of color here and it's looking really really beautiful and this is my florentina climbing rose that has also bloomed it's a beautiful vibrant red color and i love how that one looks um and uh, lots of little flowers coming into bloom here as well this is a type of a sink uh, foil flower i don't know the name of this one i think it's called napoli something and it's got these beautiful pink blooms it's a perennial as well and it's a beautiful plant which will just kind of grow and mingle in 
with the rest of the plants and it's a beautiful um, plant for the front it looks really really pretty and lots of lavender here that's also come into bloom and i love how it's like um spilling over my walkway i just love how that looks and it smells wonderful um more more echinacea about to pop open here and it's going to look really beautiful i do have some digitalis also blooming a little bit and uh lots of these carpet pink carpet roses that are also still blooming and i have more dianthus here i have just one plant there and uh this is the uh, perfectly Picasso, I think, Veronica that's also blooming there. Um, and another Veronica, pink Veronica, that is also blooming there. And then I also have a Nepeta in the back there that's also starting to bloom. And a quick fire hydrangea there that is also starting to bloom. So this is my climbing rose, which is done its first flush. I did deadhead a lot of it. And... Uh, just a few more blooms left on it and I'll come in and deadhead it when once those are done and hopefully it'll flush out a next set of blooms we'll see what it does um, and then on this side is where I have a ton and ton of poppies that are blooming this is the black swan poppy that has come into bloom in my garden isn't this beautiful I just love the contrast it does has against the Flanders poppies it's just such a beautiful beautiful color it's just been blooming for weeks now this section with poppies and i just love how that looks and i love how the echinacea is starting to light up in between all of these poppies and it's looking so so beautiful in the back i have a butterfly weed there uh, which is also blooming and beautiful and it's going to attract a lot of monarchs and they're, hopefully they're going to lay their eggs and, and we can have some caterpillars there um, lots and lots of beautiful flowers here I actually have a beautiful coreopsis in there that has come into bloom as well it's a bit hidden by all the poppies because i didn't expect the poppies to kind of completely take over like this but i don't mind at all because they are looking beautiful once these are done i'll see what i'm going to do i'll probably save some of the seeds and then just cut them back down <coughs> excuse me but the garden is looking really really pretty everything is um really looking full and lush in here and this is where i came in and i cut back the nepeta this is the whisper uh, nepeta that i cut back and this is the uh, perfectly Picasso a uh, Veronica in front of it um, so I'm hoping that it flushes back new growth and fills in um, and then the oh so easy lemon zest roses were so full as well they were done with all of their blooms and I gave it a nice cut back and hopefully this will flush out some new um, new growth and new blooms soon and it's supposed to continuously bloom uh, so I think it's going to keep on blooming here um, and it's actually been super super dry here um, it hasn't rained a lot so uh, the plants look a little bit sad I have been watering but probably not enough um, so I'm hoping it rains today and the plants get a nice drink of water so if something looks a little bit sad it's because there has been no rain absolutely no rain here for the last few days um, and here is the um, uh, hydrangea um, this one is, um, I forget the name, I think it's uh, Bloomerang, no it's not Bloomerang, it is, um, I forget the name of this hydrangea, but it's the one that keeps blooming all summer and flushes out new uh, blooms. All summer blooms on old and new wood, so I think it's, um, it's, it's, it's one of those and there's another one there that is also blooming and this one has slightly blue blooms and it's looking really pretty there the shade garden is kind of very quiet right now because it's dry it hasn't rained the hostas are doing their thing and it's green and it's it's there uh, not really anything blooming in here but uh, it's it's looking really nice <coughs> and also plants are kind of uh, in the back here not doing a whole lot i do have some lilies that are going to come into bloom soon here as you can see this one here it should come into bloom very soon and it's going to look really pretty um, and then i also have geranium rosan that is blooming here and it's looking really really pretty um, everything else in here is mostly a hydrangea so it's going to come into bloom soon 
Um, I also have some Veronica in here, which is, um, this is the Van Gogh, I think, Veronica. It's coming into bloom now, so it's going to fill up and fill in and look really good in here. Um, and uh, yeah, lots of uh, flowers to come here. I think I also have some daylilies there that are showing some buds and lots of lots of buds on these daylilies here. So they should open up soon and it's going to be uh, full of bloom soon. And this side here has a lot of roses um, that, are, that are blooming. They've done their first flush, I've cut them back, but there are still some that are blooming and they're looking really, really pretty. And I think the next set of blooms that's gonna come out is, uh, is the um, false sunflowers as well. So they're gonna look really, really pretty. Look at this rose here. I again do not remember the name of this rose, but it is a beautiful, beautiful double colored rose with white and pink. It's looking really pretty there. And uh, more Veronica coming into bloom. I also have some other lavender coming into bloom. Again, more geranium roseanne that's blooming. You can tell I love that, that flower a lot. And the reasons I love it is, is because once it blooms, it doesn't stop blooming. And that's, it's almost like an annual in your garden, but you don't have to worry about it every year. So that's the beauty of that plant. Uh, still some poppies in this bed um, as well. And lots of cone flowers in here as well, about to open. Um, and then I have some Heliopsis here, fall sunflower that is just starting to bloom um, and then i have some butterfly bush in here as well i have a black knight and i have a miss molly they're also slowly starting to open their blooms um, and a lot of my double play doozy has burnt blooms so i have to come in here and deadhead this because we haven't had rain and it's kind of really really dry in here so i think uh, they have been burnt from the sunshine so i have to come in and give it a nice snip and here are some sunflower seeds that I planted and they are growing. So I'm hoping that it'll be a nice show of sunflowers in the back here and it's gonna look really, really pretty. Um, and what else is blooming? So this is where I planted my um, Annabelle hydrangeas that I rescued uh, recently, just in the back there so they can fill in and create this beautiful uh, show of Annabelle hydrangea. And in the front, I have some echinacea and uh, uh sonic rebloom red by gila so these are all plants that i had rescued and they are smiling and flowering and it makes me really really happy and this is another row of white echinacea i think this is power white that i rescued as well last year they were about to be thrown out in the dumpster and i took them home and look at them today they are so beautiful um and yeah so uh, excuse all this mess I'm actually getting ready to paint my shed tomorrow I was cleaning the shed and making getting it ready for the paint uh, so more to come on that in my next video uh, but but this is the other side garden which is also doing really well lots of um, carpet roses in bloom there's redbeckia in bloom here as well <coughs> sorry and then false sunflower is also in bloom here and it's looking really, really pretty. And look at how tall it is. It's all, almost five feet tall and it's so beautiful. Um, and lots of plants are, are coming into uh, bloom soon. Um, I also have a lot of milkweed that is coming into bloom, as you can see. Uh, and then there is more milkweed here that has volunteered and I'm okay with that. I will keep it in my garden and help the butterflies and hopefully um, maybe it will multiply in this spot and it's going to have a milkweed patch here which will be awesome and I have some yarrow here that is also just starting to come into bloom isn't that a beautiful yarrow color that's so beautiful and I actually have to go in the front and show you my yarrow on the side uh, of my driveway I forgot to show you that spot and we'll end with that in my video and this is another Coreopsis that has come into bloom. This has got a darker center and it's really, really pretty as well. Um, and then this is, um, again, my little bit of a part shade garden. It's mostly green right now and it's looking really lush and full. And the hosta, this is an old hosta, which is huge and it's filling in. And I'm hoping it blooms soon. It usually blooms every year. So I should see some blooms in July on this one. 
And um, this spot here is the new garden that I planted recently. It's settling in and it's doing really well. Um, lots and lots of plants in here and I'm excited to see how this um, how this garden does. If you're interested in knowing what plants I planted here, I'm going to post a link uh, to this uh, video in the description below so you can go to that video and check it out. So this is a brand new section that I created in this spot recently. Um, and here is a little trellis that I created with all the sticks that Ollie brings home for me from his from our walks. Uh, it was a fun little project I did with my daughter and it I think turned out pretty well. I have to find a uh, a way to use it somewhere um, in my garden and I'm just uh, it's just a abstract structure which I think I'll place it somewhere in my garden it's just a really really beautiful and uh, whimsical and I love how he's brought me all these sticks and uh, I can put them to use in my garden and it's going to look really pretty and special for me um, so yeah so I think I'm going to um, this is again the shade garden it's doing really well things are settling in I do have one daylily that's in bloom here. This is the Stella d'Oro. Uh, Stella d'Oro and it's Del Oro and it's beautiful. It's basic, but it's beautiful. I love the pop of yellow in the shade garden. It looks really, really pretty. And this is my tough stuff, Aha Hydrangea. Um, and yeah, things are looking really, really pretty. Uh, it's been, like I said, really, really dry. So the plants do need water. Um, and uh, I'm hoping it rains today. If not, I'm going to come out here and give them a good soak of water. Um, and uh, this is my beautiful planter that I made. It's also doing really, really well. Lots and lots of blooms on it and it's looking pretty. Um, and yeah, let me just walk and show you the side garden and we'll end our video there. And uh, that way you'll have an idea of what that looks like right now. Uh, this is my little container garden that I created with lots and lots of blueberries and other plants so settling in and looking good as well so let me just walk and show you what that garden is looking like this is the driveway garden it's looking really really pretty it's starting to fill up with echinacea and yarrow and it's got the most beautiful pink yarrow in here i love this one and the blanket flower is coming to bloom as well this is an all red one and uh, lots and lots of echinacea is going to open up here and fill up and look really really pretty uh, i have some daisy in here as well it's a very old variety of daisy it's also looking really pretty and lots and lots of more yarrow that's in here as well so really pretty everything is looking really nice and with that i wanted to end this tour and thank you so much for watching this tour with me and coming along in my with me in my garden and, and checking out what things we're doing and what's blooming and uh, if you're new and you haven't subscribed do subscribe to my channel uh, for more videos and updates from me on my garden and to see what I'm doing in my garden and uh, if you've liked watching this video do hit the like button and let me know what you think and uh, I will catch you in my next video thank you again for watching